Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. So I am wearing a robe that I got for my birthday. My birthday was this past weekend and I spent it in the lovely Utah Deer Valley area. I loved every minute of it. And when I got home, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law gifted me this robe. It's pure silk, but I think I need to find a new way to wash it because I washed it and dried it like normal. Um, and it's a little wrinkly so i love it though i love the print i love the color it's super cute and if you know me if you've been around for a little while you'll know that i love robes i'm just showing you a little deep dive into my life um everything well not everything but most things for my office like my shoes especially brought out to the formal um I just have been trying to find a way to organize my office, like situate it um, in a way where I feel creative. And like, the la I kid you not, the last three or four months, I have had such a creative block that I cannot, I almost don't want to come in here anymore. I don't know if you guys feel that way um, about anything, um, but it usually happens with creative people. Um, and yeah, they have to feel like a certain way in their space that they work in. And um, a therapist once told me it's because I work out of my home. So I don't know. So about every you know six months or so, I like to swap things around, move things around, kind of just, I ordered a new mirror, like one of those LED mirrors, because one problem I do have is like, I'm probably, I'm not having it right now, but do you see how there's like shadowing on the side? It really doesn't portray the colors very well whenever I show outfit of the days and things like that. Um, so, I don't know. I saw one of my friends, she has one in her closet. And when she does her outfit of the days, it just gives like a really nice glow and it illuminates her really nicely. So I ordered one in hopes that it'll do the same for me. Um, and basically my clothing rack and stuff is over here. I am going to order another one because right now I have one that is... Um, currently in Todd's office. He has like a small office and he says he really doesn't appreciate, um, he really doesn't appreciate like whenever he's on conference calls or video calls that, um, you know, people can see like a clothing rack in the back. So I'm going to move that and find another house. Uh, well, actually that's, I'm going to order another clothing rack and house it in here. So it's, it looks like it's in shambles right now but it's gonna come together. Another question is, I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, I really love bright light, um, but my mom says that curtains, like colored curtains either, um, she says that sheer curtains would probably help with the diffusing of the light whenever I shoot videos. But that color, um, curtains, like, co like my favorite color or whatnot, and I really love pink. Um, I do like lavender as well, but I think pink is really pretty. Um, she says if I hung some up, it'd bring color. She also mentioned, which is kind of, this is our winter coat closet. Anything to, you know, like coats and vests and stuff and blazers we house there. She also mentioned, which I think is a really cute idea, painting these doors like a pink color. The only thing, the only problem with that is, I mean, I feel like that's a small enough job for me to do it. I just wouldn't know how to take them off of the hinges without messing it all up. You know what I mean? Um, but I think that would be so cute in a pink color. What do you guys think? Okay, here is my coffee situation. Pouring. I'm doing a cold brew today. I've been doing lattes all week and I've been loving them, but I don't know if you can hear, I'm kind of getting over a little cold. And I don't even necessarily know, and I don't necessarily think it's a cold. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's like, it all started with my throat because whenever I was in Utah, the air was just so dry there. And we also did some pool time outside where like the pool was not heated. And then whenever we stepped outside when we were done swimming, there was like a chill in the air and we were freezing our tails off. And so, um, 
I'm gonna add some premier protein to my coffee. It's my creamer. Um, but yeah, so it was super freezing. So I don't know if like the temperature change like that kind of made me cold. I don't know, have you ever heard about that? Like where people can kind of get a chill whenever they like don't wear a coat and they're warm inside and then they go out into the freezing cold, they can kind of like get a chill or um, get like a cold from that. I don't know if it's like an old, old wives tale or what, but mom would always tell me like, don't go outside without a jacket or something, you're gonna get sick. So I don't know if it's just one of those things that stuck with me, getting a new one. But uh, yeah, so I feel, because I have this head cold going on, I feel like, I feel puffy in the face. I feel just congested, but I took some medicine. So hopefully it'll kick in and I will start feeling better. It's typically only at night and in the morning that I feel the most crummy, if that makes any sense. During the day, I'm fine. I'm doing life, um, you know, doing all the things. I'm also cooking up my salmon for my lunch and dinner because Todd is out of town. He's in Boston talking on a panel. And uh, that is, that's what you want for him. Good for Todd. And so I thought I'd make myself um, a healthy dinner. I feel like whenever I plan for these things, I stay on track. But whenever I don't, obviously with anything, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to, I want to order Shake Shack or Burger Fi or, you know, Chinese food, you know what I mean? So I think we make a poke bowl tonight for dinner and then tomorrow I'll have it. Um, and today, I'm sorry, I'll have it for lunch with just like, I don't know, vegetables or something. It'll be delicious and healthy. Good morning, cuties. It is Saturday and I am currently in my office. If it sounds a little bit echoey, it's because I, over, I think it was like over the last couple of days, like starting Thursday, I started taking things out because I'm trying to get this space that I work in to be a little bit more of a space where I feel more creative. And I don't know if you're creative, I don't know if maybe you can relate to this, but sometimes I have to change things around, like shake things up in order to get my creative juices flowing again. And I feel that it's time for that. So that's why it looks pretty empty and there might be a little bit of an echo. So if there is, I apologize if the sound's not great. But um, I woke up, I, I don't know if I told you, but I've been just feeling under the weather like off and on since last Thursday. And um, like I would feel better and then I would feel sick again. And then I'm like, okay, do I have COVID? So like I've been testing for COVID like every single day, basically every other day. Cause we have like a bunch of tests at the house. We just, when we're at the store, we just pick one up just to have backups. And um, I've been tested negative or testing negative each time. So that's kind of nice. So I do have a history of like respiratory and bronchitis infections and so i said you know what before it really flares up and gets really bad i'm gonna try to like stay on top so this morning i was on the phone and video chat with teledoc that if you don't if you don't know what that is it's basically an app that you download and you can see a doctor over the phone in the privacy of your own home in your office wherever you're at basically you can go through uh you can have your appointment by phone or by video chat, which I chose video chat. And the doctor was really nice. He went through all the prompts, just like you would in person, going to urgent care or to your regular physician. And um, he came to a realization that I probably do have an infection because it's like, whenever I like go forward, I just feel like my head wants to kind of explode a little. And there's like a lot of pressure back there. And then when I cough, it almost hurts. So I like control how hard I cough. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. Um, and so that is what I was dealing with this morning. And I didn't think you guys would want to see any of that. So uh, thankfully he has prescribed some antibiotics and I'm going to go pick that up whenever I get the text um, saying that it's ready. But I wanted to start the vlog today and just, you know, get on here and let you know what's going on. I'm still gonna carry on about my day. I took some medicine to treat the symptoms. I really feel like Mucinex, Sinus Max, 
they're the gel capsules and uh, it's the orange and white box. You can get it at CVS, Walmart, Target. I feel like that really helps. Like that really helps the symptoms if you're having like congestion and runny nose and things like that. But yeah, I hope you guys are not dealing with any illnesses or sicknesses right now because it really does set you back. I think, I think this whole week work-wise has set me back. Um, and if you're new here, I do a bunch of content creation. I work with brands and create content for them. I also have a social media presence on Instagram and I'll list all of that down below if you're interested in checking it out. So uh, when you're feeling kind of crummy, like I've been feeling, it's like you can't be creative. You really don't have the energy to do much and it really does set you back. So you know how it goes. But hopefully with this antibiotics and continuing to treat the symptoms, I'll be back on my feet sooner than I'll expect, hopefully. But, um, but yeah, so let's continue the vlog and I hope you guys are enjoying them so far. And if you've not subscribed to my vlog channel, please do so if you like watching. Um, that really is special to me because I, you know, I love vlogging and I would like to continue my vlog channel. And um, it would be nice to create a little community where we can all be friends. Another cutie wanted to say hi. <laughs> but we're going to take her for a walk. It's a beautiful day, but I just have a feeling... It is gonna be so hot outside and humid. Typical Florida weather. Ah, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Nittany, is your foot okay? Let's see here. Oh my gosh. I did it with one hand, y'all. What a glorious day. show you guys my shoes that I added to my collection for the fall they were super affordable I got these red ones because I don't know if you know but red is like the go-to color for the fall like pops of red red lip red shoes red bag so I ended up finding these at Target believe it or not they're super cute comfortable and they're just I mean look at this cute little bow um, and then I went to DSW and I wanted to get a pair of gold and silver and I love the fact that you can just slip these on because honestly as you know a blogger that shows like a lot of outfits this is definitely the way to go versus having like all these straps to tie and buckle and put through the hole and things like that so this is definitely makes life a lot easier and um, I thought that these would go really nice with like jeans and a really cute top and then kind of like these are all colors for the fall in case you didn't know like silver gold and pops of red so i decided to get some simple shoes and i scored big time at dsw and target i also got these off of amazon because i've been seeing a lot of my vlogger friends feature these in their reels and such and i feel like these are kind of i don't know a take on birkenstocks but a lot more affordable um i mean the same soles and the inside, this is so cushioned, y'all. And then, there, I don't know about you, but I have a high arch and there's like a cushioned arch support thing in here, which is really nice. Um, and I feel like this is a lot softer than the Birkenstocks. I don't know, I could never get into those for some reason. But these, I just figured would be great to, you know, keep your toes covered during the, like the cold months, during the fall, winter. And um, they're not, you know that pair that broke the bank so if you get them messed up it's not gonna be like the end of the world um, speaking that these are more of seasonal you know like a seasonal item I think but I love the color it is I mean they're just super soft very lightweight and I think these would go good with jeans joggers loungewear all that fall goodness <music> Thank you. 
So this is one of my go-to midday snacks. If it's not a matcha, like an iced matcha, it is this. And I just basically mix some cottage cheese. And this brand is my favorite. I don't know if you've ever had this brand, The Good Culture. This is amazing. I typically get the whole, um, the whole milk, but they were out of it. So I got this one because it's still really good. I do berries, like whatever berries that you have in the house. I just had raspberries and um, blackberries. And then I added a little bit of this honey and oats granola. This is really good. And then a little drizzle of some raw honey because who doesn't like raw honey? <laughs> I think it's also good for allergy season as well, but this is such a nice treat. I absolutely love it. some Amazon packages I'm going to um, let me fix this camera I am going to open and I thought maybe you guys would like to open them with me so you gotta excuse the hair you know sometimes like when you're not feeling the best it's just I don't know you it's not that you don't care what you look like but it's it's like it doesn't bother you too much that you don't look like perfection, I guess. I have no idea. But, okay. I've been looking for a vest like this for a while now. I'm so, I hope this satisfies my need. But look how cute that is. And the, I don't know, I could have probably gone a size smaller actually. With Amazon, you just never know. Like sometimes you get it, it's like huge. Um, but okay, so here's my thought with this type of vest, uh, a fitted long sleeve black or white top, right? Like a skims type of material. And then putting the vest with like either some work pants or some jeans and some loafers. I just think that that would be such a classic fall look. I don't know. What do you guys think? You tell me in the comments below if you think it's a, a cute look for fall or not. So I'm gonna end up returning that actually, I'm getting a small. And um, I'm typically size medium in everything, but occasionally something will come in and it's like, you know, I think these are the barrel jeans I ordered because I ordered a size, um, my normal size six in the barrel jeans I, I kind of featured already on, you know, my social media. But everyone in the, I should have listened to the comments at that point because everyone's like size up, size up because barrel jeans tend to cinch in at the waist. And so I ended up getting some barrel jeans, the same ones, but just in a size eight. And they have a little bit of stretch, which is really nice. I'm all about the stretch. Let's see what this is. Um, So, on another note, my dermatologist um, prescribed me. I haven't taken it because I've been taking other medications to like Mucinex to like feel better um, and to treat like my symptoms. And so, basically, I have not taken it yet, but it's called. Oh, I can't, okay, I don't know. I may be butchering the name, but it's like transomatic acid or something like that. It's for my melasma. And it's an oral pill and he says that I should he wants me to take it for a month and see if it will help you know kind of break up some of my melasma from the inside out so um, I did I made a big mistake and I looked at the side effects and I don't know now I'm on the fence about if I should take it or not but I don't know whenever I called him back and I asked him, I was concerned with some of the side effects he did reassure me and said if he thought that I was, you know, at risk for any of those side effects, he would have never prescribed it to me. So that makes me feel a lot better. It makes me feel a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking it once I stop taking the antibiotics and the mucinex to treat my symptoms and I feel a lot better and I feel like I don't have to, you know, take the antibiotics anymore. I That's when I'm gonna try because I'm like that person where 
I feel like sometimes I'm taking way too much and I overwhelm myself. And I don't know if you guys are like that, like, please help me feel better here because I get overwhelmed whenever I'm taking so much. Like right now I'm like taking antibiotics, I'm taking mucinex, I'm taking, you know, nighttime medicine. I'm taking probiotics because I'm taking the antibiotics. You know, it's like, I don't know. Maybe I'm all just too much in my head. Okay, this is the carousel. I ended up reordering this because I use this carousel for like to house my mouthwash and skincare and things like that. So it's just like a larger carousel. I'll insert a picture here if I can. Um, but you know, nothing new or anything. Mine just broke. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Like it just broke. And so now when you twirl it, things fly off of it instead of staying on there. So I got a new one, which I love it because it helps me stay organized, which is really nice. Speaking of organization, I just posted a reel on my Instagram and I am just floored by how much people can relate to that reel. And it's just, it's a simple reel um, about organizing my kitchen. I have a pantry in the kitchen where we house like all of our medications. And so I ended up putting them really nicely organized in these drawer bins that I found on Amazon. And people are eating that up. It's it's awesome, actually. So I'm in my bathroom right now. I wanted to show you because I put that plastic uh, or acrylic carousel. And it just helps to organize everything. Um, this is the stuff that I like reach for the most, you know, like our mouthwash, our lotion, my face wash and skincare things like that. So it just makes it super easy. And then I have another Lazy Susan here that kind of houses other things that I don't reach for every day, but I do reach for them sometime throughout the week. And then this is like some travel stuff, like little minis that I have in here that I can just grab and go. Minis, and I always refill everything um, and replace everything after a trip. So that way on my next trip, everything's ready to go. And the system just really helps to keep me organized. Good morning, happy Sunday. So it is another beautiful day here in South Florida. And um, I had some questions in one of the other vlogs asking if I live in Miami and the answer is no. I don't live in Miami. Uh, I like to visit, you know, for like a weekend. Uh, they have really nice beaches and stuff like that, or a really nice beach. And um, if you're lucky, you could get availability at one of the nicer hotels, which is always nice. But I, when I visit Miami, I love staying in the Brickell area. South Beach is a little bit too party-ish for me. I love going to the beach and then coming back to the Brickell area to get ready maybe for a nice dinner. Um, if it's still open, cause it's been a little while, like maybe two years since I've been there, but, um, like to this restaurant that I was talking about, I'm about to tell you about, um, I'm going to list it or link it down below because it's this, what from the street looks like a hole in the wall, but if I can find it, I'm going to link it down below because they are a phenomenal restaurant. Maybe it's Peruvian, um, but it is so good. And it is not a hole in the wall once you park and actually go into it. It's a little bit more of a fine dining type of situation. And they have amazing wines to choose from and the atmosphere is just so much fun. I'm in my robe right now because I just got out of the shower. I woke up this morning and I was like, I didn't want to like just stay in bed. Like typically, I'm not gonna lie, Sundays, I like to kind of just lounge in bed to like noon <laughs> and then like slowly get up, go get ready, shower, we, you know, typically we go, you know, somewhere for lunch. We go to Costco, but um, Todd has COVID. So he is one of those that locks himself in the room and doesn't want to like get anyone else infected. But you know, my philosophy on that is you breathe and it, everything is like airborne and stuff. And so it goes through the duckings and the AC. And so I feel like it's like filtrating throughout the house. Like it's almost like if you live with a person and they have COVID, there's like no way around it. You're either going to get it or you're not going to get it. 
So I'm not too worried. I'm, I have a respiratory infection right now, so I'm on antibiotics myself, but I don't know if your body can still catch COVID after having an infection. I have no idea. Maybe it's two different things, but pray for Todd that he gets better. But anyway, so I got up, jumped in the shower. I took like a coldish kind of type of shower and it felt so nice. And I washed my hair today, it was hair washing day. And I just love the pressure, like the water pressure in our shower is just like full on. And it's just, you just wanna stand there, especially when you're not feeling 100%. Um, but funny enough, I've only been taking antibiotics for like one day, which was, I started yesterday. That's kind of like why I fell off the vlog because I kind of took a turn for the worse and I started feeling really bad, I started coughing so much. My head felt like it was just pounding. Um, every time I'd like look this way or move my head, it's just like a massive, just, I don't know, headache. So when I started feeling these symptoms a couple of days ago, I actually tested with the home test and, uh, which was pretty good because it's from Todd's office and it's what they use. And so it was negative then too. So I don't think I have COVID yet. <laughs> I hope I don't get it. But, um, anyways. Um, I jumped, took a shower. I'm gonna do my skincare and put on a little bit of makeup, do an outfit of the day. I'll show you what I end up throwing on. It's gonna be super casual day. Um, I probably may or may not leave the house, um, but I do have a little bit of work to do. So I did some work yesterday, as you saw on the vlog, um, just to try to catch up because I did slack. I took a couple of days off-ish. Um, Last week, I took Monday and Tuesday off just because travel linked to Utah. I don't know if it was the altitude. I don't know. I was started not feeling well then. I was just feeling off and like energy levels were low. And I'm just like, I just needed some time to recuperate because, you know, sometimes I have a tendency of burning the candle at both ends and that's not always good. Speaking of that, I keep going into these little cough spurts like I'm thinking a nice warm latte sounds really delicious right now and I have a friend who her name's Kim on Instagram I will link her somewhere below she has great Amazon content actually a lot of the stuff that I find on Amazon are influenced by her she's just really good at the Amazon thing and um, she actually made herself a pumpkin ice latte and she put honey in hers so I'm going to try to do honey, especially me being under the weather a little bit. Um, maybe that'll help my throat a little bit, you know, like soothe it in some way. But I've never had honey in my latte before and I want to try it so bad now. So I think I'm going to do a nice warm Nespresso latte of some sort. I know Nespresso just came out with their fall um, capsules or fall flavors and I want to try their maple pecan, I think is what it's called and pumpkin spice because I've never tried those and a lot of my friends say that those are super delicious. Um, of course, they're not sweet or anything. It's just the Nespresso or the espresso, the actual coffee that is kind of flavored like that. So I'm excited to try that. Hopefully I can find them. So I'll be ordering some today if they do. And then, yeah, so I'm gonna go make my coffee and see what else I get into. on the coffee like how did I never ever think to put honey in my coffee it doesn't even taste like I put honey in it it tastes like when I'm going into in for a drink it almost gives you a, a smell of like marshmallow and I like how it's not too sh like too sweet it's just like just a little something something but it is the best thing ever. And I will tell you this, if you've never tried putting honey in your coffee, this is your sign to do it. Just do it, just try it. It may not be your thing, it's not for everybody, I'm sure. But I typically don't like honey in a lot of things. Um, like if I'm sick, I'll do the honey and lemon thing, you know, because I'm like on a mission to get better. But I never would think to put it in my coffee. But now that I put it in my coffee, it's like total game changer and I'm gonna do it from now on. So good. So I was about to put my output of the day on. 
I'm actually whitening my teeth. So if you notice me talking a little different, I'm trying to keep them from slipping and sliding everywhere. But remember the robe that I unpackaged from Amazon, this is it on. You see the length, I'm 5'3 for reference and it hits like right above the kneecap. It's amazing quality, such a pretty print. I mean, look at this print, it's gorgeous. And they have so many other prints that are just beautiful. This is my outfit of the day. Just a really cute black short sleeved midi dress with these pointed toe shoes or mules that I got from the Nordstrom sale. Let me take one off and give you a closer look. They were hard to like the pointed toe area where it's like, um, where the material looks ruched. That was like kind of hard whenever I first took them out of the package. But now that I've used them a couple times, they've softened up quite a bit and they're like the most comfortable things. And I love that the stress wasn't too long and I can wear shoes like this. So absolutely love this. This dress also has pockets, which is really nice. And let me grab my tote bag. This tote bag is from Amazon. I just got this one in, but I do have this in quite a few colors. I just love it because the strap goes over your shoulder, even if you have a sweatshirt on. And it's just really comfortable. You can travel with this. The only thing is it doesn't zip, but it has a really strong magnetic closure, which is really nice. And it also comes with a pouch insert that you can take it out or leave it in there. It's not really attached. And you can put all your belongings there, like makeup, skincare, if you're going, you know, on a trip or something. But I love this because this is kind of like that designer bag. I think it's called Negetti. I can never pronounce it or remember these designer names, but it's just like it, feels like it, except it's a fraction of the cost, which we love. So I'm laying on the couch right now watching vlogs on YouTube, and I am just feeling like I can just close my eyes and take the deepest nap ever. I took my antibiotics about like 30, 45 minutes ago. I think that's what's making me kind of sleepy because I'm not a nap taker. And I normally don't get this sleepy during the middle of the day. So I think I'm gonna take advantage of it. Maybe my body is really fighting off an infection that, you know, it needs its rest, I don't know. So I'm gonna take a little nap. I'm gonna set the timer on my phone. Uh, I'm gonna wind down to some vlogs, but I don't want to sleep all day. I want to like soak, you know, the rest of the Sunday all in and just prepare mentally for the week to come. So hopefully I can take a really sweet nap and wake up feeling a lot better. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, but I am going to end the vlog here. I ended up taking longer than a 20, 30 minute nap. It was more like hours. And I think it's what my body needed because when I woke up, I felt so refreshed and I felt so much better. Like just like the nasal pressure that I had been feeling from my, I guess, sinus infection or whatever it was, it just, it's no longer there. So I'm on the mend, thank goodness. So it's gonna be even more brighter week. Um, because of that, I don't have to deal with this illness or sickness that's been going on. And for dinner, we did a very simple dinner. We ordered pizza from Pizza Hut, which was a very nice treat. Actually bought, brought me back to my childhood because that's what we would do on Sundays as a family. We'd go to Pizza Hut, we'd have the salad bar, and we'd have we'd have pizza as a family. So um, I ordered a thin extra crispy pepperoni pizza and Todd ordered a sausage hand-tossed pizza, which is his favorite. And um, had a Diet Coke, he had a Diet Coke Zero. I think it's a like Coke Zero. And that was it, we ate, and now I'm back in my robe, about to do my nighttime skincare routine, and I'm gonna try to get some more sleep because if I felt that much better after a few hours, I can only imagine what a good night's sleep will make me feel like in the morning. So, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. If you are new here and you've been watching until now, I really appreciate you, and it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel. So um, it'll let me know that you guys are enjoying these vlogs and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.